Hello, everybody. So today's lesson, we're going to continue with lesson 5.2, breaking apart numbers to subtract. You recall in the last le lesson, we were working on breaking apart single digit numbers um, so we could make a 10. Okay. So keep that in mind as you do today's uh, listen and draw activities. Okay, you're going to use these three number lines on page five, uh, page 233 of the second grade goal map textbook to complete the answers. You're going to draw jumps to subtract the problem. All right, so I'm going to read you one problem, and then I want you to pause the video and show your work with the jumps to find the difference for the problem I give you. All right. Mrs. Hill had 45 paintbrushes. She gave nine paintbrushes to students in her art class. How many paintbrushes does Mrs. Hill have now? So use this number line to show that she had 45 paintbrushes and she gave nine paintbrushes to the art students in her class. Okay, go ahead and pause the video. All right, is this what you came up with? So we were at 45. Okay. Now I can make a 10 from 9. This was the first problem. 45 minus 9. Well, if I subtract 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Sorry, let me just do that in one jump. Okay, minus 5, I'm at 40. Now I also need to subtract 4 more. So, 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So we're at 36. Okay. So I broke up the 9 into 5 and 4. Okay, so is that what you came up with? Could you have subtracted nine by just doing nine single jumps? Sure. Okay. All right. Let's look at the second one now. So let's keep the same situation, Mrs. Hill. Okay. In this case, she had 72 paintbrushes, 72 paintbrushes, and she gave seven to her art students. How many paintbrushes does she have now? Again, she had 72 and she gave away seven. Okay, so go ahead and pause the video and show your jumps for solving that problem. Okay, is this what you came up with? 72 minus seven. Well, I'm at 72. I know that if I subtract two, I'd be at 70. 72 minus 2 is 70. Now if I subtract 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, I'd be at 65. And we're subtracting 7. So 72 minus 7 is 65. <clears throat> All right, finally, let's say Mrs. Hill had 53 paintbrushes and gave 6 to the students in her art class. How many paintbrushes does she have now? Again, she had 53 and she gave six to her students. How many paintbrushes does she have? Go ahead and pause the video, show your jumps to find the difference. Okay, 53 minus six was our problem. Well, if I'm at 53, I want to subtract 3 because that's going to put me at 50. And then I need to subtract 3 more. 1, 2, 3. And that puts me at 47. All right, so 45 minus 9, 36. 72 minus 7, 65. And 53 minus 6, 47. What we did was we broke apart the number that we're subtracting. Okay. And in this case, we subtracted to get tens. Okay. 
So that was kind of a repeat of what we learned in our last lesson. Now, what happens if we have a two-digit number that we're subtracting? We'll break apart the number you're subtracting into tens and ones. It should be easy to subtract or add tens. Okay, when we subtract 10, the ones place doesn't change, right? Two minus zero, it's just two. Okay, seven tens take away one ten. That's six, six tens, okay? So 72 take away 10 would be 62. Now we still have to take away seven from the 17, right? So 62 minus seven, we'll subtract two, from the 62 to get 60, and 60 minus 5 is 55. And so they're showing you that here. So they broke apart 17 in the 10 plus 2 plus 5. Okay, 72 minus 10 puts us at 62. Subtracting two more puts you at 60. Subtract final 5, and we're winding up at 55. Okay, so we want to break our two digit numbers into first tens and then the remaining ones the same way we were doing. Okay, so 43 minus 18. So we're going to break 18 into 10 and 8 to start. And then since 43, we need to subtract three ones, we're going to break the 8 into 3 and 5. Okay, so if we're at 43 and we subtract 10, that puts us at 33. Now subtract 3, and you're at 30. Then subtract 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 25. Forty-five minus 14. First we're going to subtract 10, and then we're going to subtract 4. Okay, 45 minus 10. 35, right? 45 minus 10 is 35. 35 minus 4. So we're at 35 and we have to subtract 4. Well, do I really need to use a number line for that? 5 take away 4. That's 1, right? So 35 take away 4 is 31. 46 minus 17. Again, we want to break it into tens and ones. 46 minus 10 is 36. Now, 7. Since we're at 36, we want to break 7 into 6 and 1. 36 minus 6 is 30. 30 minus 1, 29. Okay, make sure you're following along here. 46, we broke the 17 into 10 and 7. Again, this is just one strategy for subtracting. 46 minus 10 gives us 36. Now we still have to subtract the 7, but 36 minus 7, it's easier if I subtract break the 7 into 6 and 1, because 36 minus 6 gives me a 10. Now we just still have to subtract a 1. 30 take away 1, that's just 29. Okay, 44 minus 16. Again, we want to split up the 16 into 10 and 6, because 44 minus 10 should be an easy subtraction problem. 44 minus 10 is 34. Okay, again, the ones digit doesn't change. 4 take away 1 is 3. Now we're at 34, and we have to take away 6. Well, I don't want to take away 6. I want to actually take away 4. So we're going to break up the 6 into 4 and 2. 34 minus 4 gives me a 10. It makes 34 into 10, 30. Now we have to subtract 2 from 30. Just count backwards. 30, 29, 28. Okay. Let's keep on going. Page 235. Break apart the number you're subtracting and write the difference. 57 minus 15. Okay, we're going to start by subtracting 10 from 57. 57 minus 10 puts you at 47. 
47 minus 5. Well, what's 7 minus 5? 2. So 42. Okay. 63. Break the 17 into 10 and 7. 63 take away 10 is 53. Now, what do we want to subtract from 53 to make it into a 10? 3. 53 minus 3 is 50. And 50 minus 4. If we need to, we can go to 50 on the number line and back up 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. 46. 68 minus 19. Make the 19 into 10 and 9. 68 minus 10. 58. What do we want to subtract from the 58 to make a 10? 8. So split the 9 into 8 and 1. 58 minus 8 is 50. 50 minus 1. What number comes before 50? 49. 61 minus 18. Break the 18 into 10 and 8. 61 minus 10. Simply 51. What do we want to subtract from 51 to make it into a 10? 1. So 51 minus 1 is 50. And now we have to subtract 7 from 50. So if we need to, go up to 50 and subtract 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 43. 8, number 9. <laughs> Jane has 53 toys in a box. She takes some toys out. Now there are 36 toys in the box. How many toys did Jane take out of the box? How many toys did she take out of the box? So she didn't take them all out, right? She had 53 in a box. And then now there are 36 toys. So she started with 53. And now she has 36 left. So if we know that she has 36, but she started with 53, if we subtract these two, that tells us how many she took out. All right, well, on 36, I'm going to break it into 30 and 6. Okay, why 30? Well, because we should be able to do 53 minus 30 in our head, okay? Because the ones don't change. Three minus nothing is three. Five take away three. That leaves us two. So we're at 23. What do we have to subtract from the six to make this into a 10? Three. So we're breaking six into three and three. 23 minus three is 20. 20 minus 3, 20, 19, 18, 17. 17 toys were removed from the box. Could you have subtracted, broken the 36 into uh, tens first? Like 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 6? You could. But I think you should be able to back up 53 by tens this way. 53. 43, 33, 23. All right, and number 10. Look at Tom's steps to solve a problem. Solve this problem in the same way. 42 minus 15. All right, so this is Tom's. He broke 18 into 10, and 35 minus 10 was 25. Then he said 25 minus 5, that's going to give me a 10. Okay, and then he had 3 left because 5 plus 3 is 8. And 20 minus 3 is 17. All right, so we can do the same thing. So we're going to have 10 and 5 for 15. Okay. 42 minus 10 is 32. What do we subtract from the 32 to make it into a 10? 
two. Breaking five into two and three. Okay. 32 minus two is 30 and 30 minus three, 27. All right, page 236, number 11. 38 people are in the library and 33 more people go into the library. How many people are in the library now? So did those 33 people leave or did we add those to the people in the library? It says more people go into the library. So this isn't a subtraction problem, this is addition. So we start with 38 and we have to add 33. And that's gonna give me the total number of people. So I'm gonna rewrite that so it's stacked. And eight plus three is 11 ones. I'm gonna regroup that as 110 and one one. Three tens plus three tens is six tens, plus the regroup ten, seven tens. So 71 people are in the library. Okay, number 12. Alex has 24 toys in a chest. He takes some toys out of the chest. Then there are 16 toys in the chest. How many toys did he take out of the chest? All right. So he had 24, and now there are 16. 24 minus 16. If we subtract the 16 that are in the chest, that'll tell us how many he took out, right? So I want to break 16 into 10 and 6 to start. 24 minus 10 is 14. Now I want to break 6 into 4 and 2 because 14 minus four makes it a 10. And 10 minus two is eight. So he took out eight toys. Okay, we can look here. Subtracted 10, four, and two. 10 plus four is 14, plus two is 16. So we subtracted 16. We just did it in three steps. And finally, 13. Gail has two piles of newspapers. There are 32 papers in the first pile. There are 19 papers in the second pile. How many more papers are in the first pile than in the second pile? Write or draw to explain how you solve the problem. Well, I'm gonna draw a picture of this just so I can illustrate this. So let's see, there's 32 papers in the first pile and there's 19 in the second pile. How many more papers are in the first pile than in the second pile? So we have to find the difference here. If they were equal, they would both have 32, but they're not equal. So we're gonna subtract 32 minus 19 equals how much more? All right, so I'm gonna break 19 into 10 and nine to start. 32 minus 10 is 22. What do I want to subtract from 22 to make it a 10? So break up the 9 into 2 and 7. Okay, because 22 minus 2 is 20, and now we have to subtract 7. Okay, 20 minus 7 is 13. So 13 more papers. All right, so that's it for lesson 5-2. So until our next lesson, I'll see you soon.